In this video, we'll show you how to configure stacking on two Aruba Instant On 1960 switches, demonstrating both the Instant On App method, which is used if it's cloud managed, as well as the Web GUI method, which is used if it's managed locally. Let's first demonstrate the Instant On App method. In order to provision these switches into the cloud, you'll need an existing network with active DHCP and DNS services, as well as active internet access. I will then connect the top switch to the existing network and use port 25 to connect it to the bottom switch. I'll be making port 25 one of the dedicated stacking ports, which will ensure the bottom switch does not lose connection to the cloud during the configuration changes. I've already downloaded the Aruba Instant On app on my phone and created a portal account. For details on how to do this, please watch our Setting up Aruba Instant On 1930 switch video. Since I don't have an existing Instant On network set up, we need to create a site to get started. I will only provision switches into this site, but you can select the Access Point and Switches option if that's your requirement. The app is telling us that our switches need to be connected to the internet before we are able to discover them, a step that we have already completed. You will know they are ready for discovery once the cloud LED light is flashing green and orange like so. Please allow up to 15 minutes for the switches to reach this stage, especially as they will automatically download and install the latest firmware version upon connecting to the internet. When ready, click on Find My Device and select the Scan Barcode or QR Code option. Pull out the orange tab on the switch, scan the QR code and add the respective devices to the network. Name your network. Set the country information as well as the site name. And your site should be ready for configuration. Click on the Devices tile and you'll see both of your switches online. I'm going to rename the switches by clicking onto the switch name and changing the name from the switch serial number to a more meaningful descriptor, being their physical position, top or bottom. I'm then going to select my top switch, tap onto the options menu in the top right corner and select create stack. I'll add the bottom switch to the stack when prompted and also name the stack. You can see that we are now managing both switches through a single stack entity. It is highly recommended to use the built-in 10 gig ports as our stacking links, as well as to use at least two ports for stacking. In this example, I'll configure the 10 gig base T ports 25 and 26 for stacking. To do so, we'll need to configure link aggregation first. Click on the switch stack, scroll down to the ports section of the config, tap on the aggregation tab, tap on Add link aggregation, tap on ports 25 and 26, change mode to LACP, tap on done, and repeat the process with the top switch. We now physically connect the switches together using ports 25 and 26. I'll tap on the status tab and scroll to the right hand side to monitor the status of stacking ports. And there you have it. The switches are now stacked using both ports 25 and 26. Now, I'll show you how to create a stack but using the local management mode instead. Unplug port 26, so we're back to the same physical setup as when we started this video. Navigate back to the dashboard view. Tap on the devices tile and select the switch stack. Tap onto the options menu in the top right corner and select the unstack option. Confirm unstacking on the next screen and you can see that the switches are now unstacked and managed separately. Select the bottom switch. Tap onto the options menu on the top right corner and select switch to local management. Confirm this choice on the subsequent screens. Select the top switch and repeat the process. Now, both switches are no longer managed from the instant on cloud portal and you should be able to connect to and manage them locally. Open a web browser and browse to the top switch IP address. Log in using the username admin and leave the password blank. You'll be prompted to set up an admin account. Let's name our switch and click on apply. Log on to the bottom switch and repeat the process. Let's go back to our top switch so we can configure stacking. Expand the Setup Network menu and select Stacking Configuration. I want to ensure my top switch is the first stack member, 
so my ports will be numbered accordingly. In order to configure stacking ports, we need to select the switch and click on the edit icon, and then select and add the ports we'll use for stacking. In this example, I'll use ports 25 to 28. Apply and save. Do the same thing for the bottom switch, but make it member 2. And configure stacking ports 25 to 28. Apply and save. We need to reboot both switches in order for stacking to take effect. On the bottom switch, expand the maintenance menu and select the reset option. Click on the reboot button in the lower right corner. Log on to the top switch and repeat the same process. Log back onto the top switch after the reboot process has completed. You can now see that the stack has been formed and that you can manage both switches from a single login. I'll now physically connect ports 26 to 28 and refresh the view to see the changes. The last thing we're going to configure is a link aggregation uplink to our upstream switch using port 24 on both the top switch and the bottom switch. We're already physically connected to the upstream switch using port 24 on the top switch. I've already configured the link aggregation on two uplink ports on the upstream switch. To complete the config on our switch stack, expand the switching menu and select Trunk Configuration. Select Trunk 2 and click on the Edit button. Name our link aggregation interface. Select and add port 24 on both the top switch and the bottom switch to the group. Make sure you change the trunk type to LACP to match our upstream switch config and click on apply. You can now connect port 24 on your bottom switch to the corresponding interface on your upstream switch. Refresh the page and you'll see that link aggregation has been configured and is active. And there you have it. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe.